Hello everybody, my name is Tove and this is going to be a quick guide on the Call of the Sea event going on right now, or maybe it's called the Ocean. And by guide I actually mean I wanted to highlight a very specific part of this event. So right now, the part 1 of the event I feel some people may have already been ignoring because they're so hyped because Sicaria Underwater Ruins as well as that other little cave place has come out. The part 1 of this event, called Setting Sail, is basically an extra daily quest given by Filiberto Falassi in Portiferia. Normally, Filiberto Falassi gives Falassi families kindness as a daily quest, which gives you an Aferia sailboat or frigate blueprint piece. This quest requires you to deliver two crates to Sebastian over at the docks. However, all the way until June 19th, if you do this daily, you'll get another quest called Missing Cargo. This requires you to deliver one last crate over to Sebastian, and the reward is either 40 standardized timber squares, 10 jade coral ingots, 15 pine coated plywood, or 55 pine plywood. To do the previous daily as well as this one, aka just grabbing three crates and moving them over to him, only takes about five minutes, if even that if you're manually walking, or if you're auto-pathing it around, maybe up to ten minutes if you're just stepping away each time. The potential reward for actually doing this quest while this event is going on is rather lucrative, however. As you can see here, Jade Coral Ingots currently sell for 740,000 base price. Now actually at my recording earlier, there were 450 of them listed, and it's already gone down to only 140 of them listed, as well as some buy orders have crept up over here at market price, with multiple listed at around 800k, 780k. Mine personally, I listed at 780k each, and they sold after tax giving me 6.6 .6 million silver. Now, 6.6 .6 million silver isn't exactly a ton, but this took almost no time to do. I walked over three times, heck I could have been grabbing a bite to eat while I autopathed my character there and back. If you can get 6.6 .6 million in 5 minutes, you can make an effective cash per hour of almost 80 million an hour, I guess more like 70 something million an hour, during this event. I just wanted to clarify before I get read out in chat that I said effective cash per hour. Obviously you can't just do this over and over as it is a once a day activity. By effective cash per hour, I simply mean that is how much money you'd make if you could do that activity consistently, and I'll use that amount to determine its overall efficiency versus other methods. Additionally, you can simply park an alternative character over there and hop over to them every day to do the daily quest, then hop back to your main and continue on with whatever you were doing. Now I understand that posting this video may actually have a negative impact on the price of the Jade Coral Ingot. So I already thought about that, and to mitigate that a little bit, I thought of the Standardized Timber Square, which is another one of the potential quest rewards. You can get 40 of these as the quest reward, and they're about 88,000 each. Now after tax, that goes for just under 3 million silver. I hope I did the math correctly on that. So that isn't quite as good of a reward as the Jade Coral Ingots while they're holding this price, but if they do drop considerably or somehow crash the market, there's 37,000 buy orders here for these standardized timber squares. These buy orders aren't going anywhere, a lot of people want a lot of these. I can guarantee that these will keep selling throughout the duration of this event, or I can almost guarantee, I guess I shouldn't be saying that, but it's very, very, very unlikely that the price of the Jade Coral Ingot will crash to the point where it is no longer worth doing, and that the price of this would also crash. As most people who are going to be doing the daily are going to be claiming Jade Coral Ingots and simply selling them, and I'm guessing there's probably some people that are going to try and manipulate the market here, or not necessarily manipulate, but rather flip, and they might try to buy up all these materials while people list them if they crash low enough, and then try and just simply sell an Aferia Frigate blueprint on the market. Now, I'm not going to be running the numbers on exactly how much it, of these materials you need for an Aferia Frigate, what the cost is, and if it's worth it or not. I'm pretty sure you have to get the standardized timber squares yourself as you just saw by all those buy orders, but these are worth 1.8 billion, so if you're an avid life skiller who has lots of extra logs laying around, maybe that's a potential way to make a bunch of extra money during this event as well. That would be under the scenario of all these material prices crashing as well though, and so I'm just trying to make the point that even if they crash quite a bit, they should still hold their value to a point, as with all these being listed here, I would assume that some people make and sell these for a profit somehow. Maybe they chop trees all day, sell the capris, and then they make the logs into a frigate and sell that too? I don't know. Whatever they choose to do, it seems to work in form or there wouldn't be any sold here, right? So, Alright, that's going to be it for this one, guys. Just a quick little video. I don't want anyone missing out on this part of the event. I highlighted it a little bit in my patch note video, but I do feel it deserves a second mention here. It's a lot of really easy money, especially if you're a newer player starting out, this is really going to help jumpstart your funds, get your silver up so you can start get purchasing some early gear. If you're a vet or someone who just plays on weekends, doesn't have too much time to play, and you normally only do rifts and stuff, if you want to take 5 minutes out of your day to add that into your rotation, maybe when you harvest your farms or whatever you do throughout the day, reset your fishing, reset your processing, it would definitely be worthwhile to do. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.